Love Miss Day 3. Sorry, very weird combination. I think I can almost show you this image. Not just yet though. That was really weird. I was taking a chew. Uh, I have one hodgepodge home. It's ill. You may be able to hear him. One hodgepodge miniature. And that would be Spencer's turn for the sicky bug at the moment. So he is currently chilling watching Sonic the Hedgehog in the front room. I'm going to finish this portrait. Then when I get back from my little afternoon job, I need to prep for the storm tomorrow. So I'm going to do a storm prep video with you. Yeah. But first, I need to crack on with this and get this one done. Because if this is done, then I'm on time with my scheduling this week for watercolours and paintings as such. I have a cup of tea. A boring one at the moment. I say boring, it's the best tea ever. Um, biscuit brew. Yorkshire tea. Uh, you may hear Spencer coughing. He does not have COVID. We have checked. He literally has a sicky cold bug that is going around. Um, the joys. So yeah. That'd be fun. He's still as annoying as ever. He's uh, just not slept very well through the night. So yeah. I am going to watch some vlogmases from yesterday and crack on with this one because I hope to finish this in an hour and a half to be honest so that I can get stall prep done and draw out the picture that I'm going to be taking with me to draw whilst I'm at the stall to keep me busy. That's the hope anyway. Or if I'm like super super busy and can't pick a pencil that will be absolutely fine too. Just saying. See you in a moment. So as part of today's vlog, I thought I would show you what I take with me for the admin side of a stall, just so as you can see what that kind of looks like. Uh, maybe you've not done a stall before, you're not sure what to take. So I've got my go-to kit here, apart from one item which I'll explain afterwards, but, which is fine. Um, but I'll swing you around so you can see what I take with me as necessities for a stall. So here we go. So I have everything pretty much laid out here. I apologise for the glitter and everything on the floor because I've literally just been completely gutting my kit and everything and I've literally just got a load of glitter stuff from there to decorate the tree. So first thing I do is I have my stock book. So everything in here is basically, you'll see the ones with the lines through, that's from completed stalls. This one is from my last stall which I still need to cut out, uh, scribble out on, but that is what I do to count stock in and out of my store at the start and at the end as well as a, I, I always take a couple of pens because I tend to lose them. The one thing that I haven't got here that would normally be in this pile would be my orders book. Now I've decided to close my orders books so I won't be taking uh, custom order books with me. Obviously I'll still have my business cards and things there to give out. That's one thing I can't show on here as well actually they're in my bag ready. Um, but because I'm not taking custom orders or the custom personalised items with me to show, I'm not bothering to take the order book with me because any other random orders of stock that I physically have in stock but I'm not taking to the store, I can just point them to the website, if that makes sense. Next I have this battery pack purely because this Zettel is starting to let me down with charge. It doesn't hold its charge all day now. I don't know whether it was just because of the weather the other day that it was so cold. But I've got the cable for this, even though I will put this on charge tonight, I still take this charge dock. Uh, you can get different ones, this one is actually uh, for a switch. Um, this is from my husband's switch that I borrow because it's got a USB port on the side. This tends to do the job for me just nicely for what I need. As well as that I take my cable for my phone as well, so that I have charge there. Then I have sellotape and string along with scissors over there. That is to make sure if I need to prop anything up or anything like that. I also take markers with me so that if I do need to do any ad hoc -y prices or listings or anything like that while I'm there sort of to list prices if I've forgotten anything for whatever reason, that's what I have those for. And then this is my float and the float I always count up before the start of the store and I always list it at the top. So I had a £40 store for this, a uh, £40 float for this one. Uh, I actually got a £50 float for this one. I will double check that one in a moment. But yeah, so that is my go-to kit 
or behind the scenes uh, of the stalls. Think of anything else while I'm at the stall. I will obviously show you um, whilst I'm there. Uh, I don't think there is there. But all of this now has to go into this box here because I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for me to carry uh, on the day because I need to carry a Christmas tree and I've put everything else in a suitcase so that should um, be pretty much good. Tom's just gone to get the kids. Had a little bit of bad news um, earlier on today um, so I'm just waiting to hear back from that just to see if everything tomorrow is still going ahead or not. Um, fingers crossed everything's fine and the event will be going ahead as normal. Um, but obviously family comes first. So we just need, I'm getting prepped just in case that I'm not running around like a madam in the morning when everything turns out to be okay, which I'm sure it will. So yeah, that's the plan, that's the plan. Uh, I look very bedraggled, bedraggled, bedraggled. I'm not even sure if that's a word, but now I'm gonna get this lot on charge so that I'm ready to go. Then I have work this evening and I just need to wait for a phone call to see if I need to nip to the hospital or not. Um, yeah. And that's my son's still coughing. So yeah, that's where we're at today. So that is everything. I also have sticky notes. Uh, didn't know whether to mention them or not, but I don't really use them. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's how I prep a stall, pretty much. news is my mum who had actually gone into hospital that was the bad news earlier my mum had gone into hospital she's okay it's not what we thought it was oh god something on my Tom is just putting the kids to bed so if you can hear them that is what's going on that's a little bit harsh let's turn that down there we go I look like I've been dragged through a bush backwards um but yeah I think it's just a case of chilling for the rest of the evening just opened the bird and blend advert calendar but I'm not having that this evening. Um, I do like peppermint hot chocolate tea so I'm hoping that would be a nice one. I did think it was just peppermint but it's not, it's the cocoa version. But I have another advent calendar that I want to share with you which is my Toft advent calendar which um, I will show you in just a moment. But before I do that I had Let's See order today, which means we can play Is It A Duck? I'm so sad, I really am. I feel like playing some jingly music or game show music or something along those lines. But your choices today. Do, do, do. Did the Etsy seller purchase one of these or one of these? So your choices are a duck tote or a garden party tote like Jasmine purchased yesterday. <gasps> Ooh, this is the one. So it uh, isn't a duck. So there's me saying that a duck is the way forward. Ducks are the popular ones and I apologise for my dog. My dog? Oh, my son barking. I can't talk. Hey. <laughs> Just turning around and walking back out. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, I've jinxed myself by saying that ducks are mostly ordered on Etsy. Damn it. So yeah, no, it wasn't a dog. So we are on the uh, 3rd of December. I have the 3rd of December advent to open on my Toft advent calendar, which is my crochet advent calendar. I don't think I can show it you. It's in this beautiful box, which is here. A bit dusty. It's a gorgeous box. And I've already started, so I'll show you where I'm up to at the minute. So this is day one and two. 
it's a little ruby Santa Claus, you can't quite see it there but I need to look for day three because I haven't done it today which is a big one I just want to move this out of the way so for those of you who don't know I'm obsessed with yarn and all things yarn especially all things top and oh this I believe is a new colourway for top for this album and it is very green similar to their lime actually but it's called emerald in DK so this is the colour I'm going to be working on next I can't guess what bird it is it's definitely bird almost certainly it's bird I need to uh, do the next on and I'll show you what it looks like when I've crocheted it. I would film myself doing it, but the pattern's on my phone. So I'll do that. So yeah, we'll do that now. And it's done. That's it for today's vlog anyway. So thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to come back tomorrow. I'll get to share this store with you. And of course, if I get another letter to sell, there'll be another return of Is it a duck? Whack. It's been a long day. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe. And hopefully I shall see you here tomorrow. Bye guys.